so nice to have you here again participating in our lives of Made in Brazil. It is of great satisfaction to know that you are on the other side of the screen and we are here bringing every day more information for you who is here in Brazil or any other place around the world because after all, Brazilian cattle can reach you wherever you are. And today we are bringing to you a very special team with a very important topic. If we imagine that in order to produce, and we need to produce with better quality and efficiency, in this context, you need to learn a little bit more about pasture irrigation. We have here with us in our Brazilian Cattle Project a new company called Bauer. It came bringing a lot of information and technology to share with you. After all, you need to produce efficiently uh, the same way that we are trying to do here in Brazil. So, stay tuned. Don't miss out on the information that we're going to share with you. And to bring all this information about pasture irrigation, the Bauer team has come with full force. So, let me introduce you. Natalia Gregorio, Marketing Coordinator, welcome. And here with us, Rodrigo Parada, the CEO of Marketing and Sales. Welcome, Hi. Rodrigo. How are you doing? And here we have Flavio Oliveira, commercial Thank supervisor. You. Hello, Fabio. Uh, hello, it's a pleasure to be here. And Hi, Mauricio Nobre dos Santos Calhau, an application engineer. How are you, Mauricio? I'm good. So I'm very glad to have you here Great, with, uh, in our program, Made in Brazil, in our lives. But also because you are new participants of Brazilian Cattle. So welcome to Casa do Zebu. And please, let the world, Brazil and the world, know about all the technology that you offer so that we can produce better with greater sustainability. So now I pass the floor to you so that you can take this opportunity to show as much novelties as you can to our public, okay? Hi, guys. My name is Natalia Gregorio. It's a great pleasure to be here with you today. And I will walk you through this immersion through the world of irrigation. But before, we are going to watch a short video about our company, Bauer. Guys, Bauer is an, uh, a company from Austria with a headquarters in the city of São João da Boa Vista in São Paulo. And today we are going to talk about irrigation and the benefits and the differentials that irrigation can bring and how important the productivity, the yield that uh, irrigation brings can help in the world of uh, uh, livestock raising. So we will start with Rodrigo, our marketing and sales CEO. Uh, thank you, Rodrigo. It's a pleasure to talk to you here. I would like you to tell us a little bit of the history of Bauer, uh, the world world history of Bauer, so that we can bring everything into context. Cool. Thank you, Natch. It, uh, it's wonderful to talk about irrigation and to bring Austrian technology to 
uh, the f farms and especially cattle raising, especially now Bauer is more present into this market and the possibilities that's something that we makes us really happy. So Bauer is an Austrian company that was uh, started in Voitsberg, a city that uh, where Bauer was created. And uh, nowadays we have uh, 2 million hectares that are irrigated and uh, we are growing a lot in cattle breeding and we're really happy to use the technology that is focusing on grains so much also to another area and Bauer today is present in over a hundred countries around the world so almost all countries have the possibility to is to deal with the sales and support and we have almost 650 employees around the world conveying these new technologies and products and uh, as you mentioned here we are here in Brazil uh, we've been here in Brazil since 2006 in Passo Fundo and the south of Brazil and now we are in São João in the state of São Paulo and the but technology from Bauer uh, comes uh, from a long time and we've been we, we have 90 years of experience in the market not only in the regression but uh, we are also going to talk about pivot and uh, and dealing with many different areas such as separators with uh, waste management and other products that can help in the financial part in the economic and viability for of producers in general and also to talk about technology which is present in Bauer now that is in the group well, I think it's important to highlight that a key point in Bauer today is resales, right? Because we have resales uh, all over Brazil and we are reaching out to South America. That's something to discuss, right? Sure, sure. It's uh, We have over 26 branches throughout the country in Latin America. We're present in Uruguay, Paraguay, Colombia... And uh, we are increasing more and more our presence throughout Latin America. We know that it's important to not only to be present with some products, but in some in areas that have specific characteristics. Bauer is expanding, not only in terms of number of stores, and we are increasing. We increased almost 50% this year, and we want to take it to other regions as well, and in, in the region in the con continent of America. We have this uh, issue of technology that you mentioned. Yeah, the te Bauer's technology is a very important area and uh, that is made by Brazilians for, for Brazilians and it's exported to the rest of the world as well. So we are very proud to develop here in our country and we'll talk about it later and to see how it was, the technology was developed and we are disseminating in the area of irrigation. Rodrigo, I think it's important to discuss a little bit livestock raising. Irrigation is very important for agribusiness in general, but the livestock raising in particular is very strong. How can irrigation uh, help uh, to strengthen these two sectors of agribusiness, that's livestock production, cattle specifically? Yes, uh, I'm going to talk about uh, now the, the parallel between par uh, agriculture and cattle breeding. So the input and uh, to produce now is uh, more and more expensive in both areas to so you have to get the most out of your land and your cattle and your production production it's of the utmost importance and now we have the irrigation irrigation allows to bring to make the land always green and to guarantee that it's going to grow at the correct rate and uh, we also have the we can increase productivity but also for cattle breeding we can in areas we can certain areas we can have one cattle before per hectare to go all, all the way up to 12 cattle or 12 uh, heads or 12 animals between per hectare and we can get the most of this land and it's extremely important for everyone and more than this you can focus on the production so if today you have a uh, hundred animals or in a hundred hectares you can you can bring them to uh, 10 hectares and you can also use 
it for agriculture, the rest, so you can complement the production as a whole. Yeah, it's the concept of a compact farm, right? Yes, another concept that is very important is not only the issue of productivity and to be having it more compact, is to have more technology within the farm, but the possibility to reduce the time. So sometimes we go from 28 months to 22 months, and this is a significant reduction and, and make it more competitive. Uh, it's so interesting to see how these two sectors of agribusiness can uh, walk together, right? Making it grow even more. Uh, agribusiness is important not only for Brazil, but for the whole world. And as we are growing, it's important to grow together. And to start talking a little bit more about our products to those who are watching us, I will invite Flavio. Flavio is a sales consultant and uh, he will discuss with us the pivot irrigation. But first of all, because I know you, I know that you love pivot irrigation, but I want you to share your passion, you know, the same way that uh, you fell in love with pivot irrigations. Please share this passion with our farmers. Firstly, it's a pleasure to be here in Expo Genetics, sharing knowledge and talking about these passions. They're not just mine, they are from agriculture and uh, more and more they have uh, been adopted by uh, cattle breeders. Fabio, to help them uh, getting to know a little bit more about pivot irrigation, what is the central pivot, how can it be used in irrigation, and especially for pastures, right? It has been growing a lot. Surely. The center pivot is made up of a metal structures of tubes and trellises that is suspended on towers that have wheels and tires that will move this equipment in a circular manner. So it forms that circle in the, in the area, in the field that is irrigated and the water is plant, is spread throughout the plantation or the crop through like the rain so we can use water you use our irrigation but you can use include potassium and nitrogen as well that are so important when it comes to cattle breeding one thing that i would also like to comment uh, is that most people who have researched anything about irrigation they know but it's important to highlight the benefits and uh, I, I wanted you to expand a little bit. Can we use the pivot irrigation for grains as well? All right. The, in relation to this, a concept that the producer uh, thinks is the, the expensive is not to irrigate. So pasture nowadays is considered a crop, and as a crop, it has to be maintained and has to be kept. And when we deal with the issue of irrigation, we can uh, deal. We can. We have a concept that more and more of intensive cattle breeding, the compact farm where we can have in an area that is irrigated with a uh, rotation pasture with by a center pivot, uh, even 10 to 15 animals per hectare. So that is a very important benefit. We have high productivity because we can have uh, grass and pasture that has high protein and high quality and we provide all of the benefits connected to this irrigation. When we talk about grain, one of the factors that uh, raised the costs a lot it was the grain. And what producer wouldn't like to have their own silos and their everything produced within the, oh, the farm itself, right? Wouldn't you like that? So and so we're going to talk about this. And then when we, what can we get in the crop? We reduce the hematoid and we can increase the or, man, organic manure and we can actually create the manure and increase the productivity. And we can do this with our separators. So Bauer has complete solutions so for the separators are really good and we separate the solid from the liquid area and we can make the most of both parts. That's amazing, right? Complete solution for the producer, okay? 
And talking about what you mentioned, the investment to in pasture and in grass is more and more elevated and the, the variation of temperature that we have in Brazil and the rain. So the productivity can be affected. So if you put a pivot in this area, it brings a security that we don't have nowadays and this these investments will come back to you. Perfect. We do have a lot to talk to talk about pivot and irrigation, but we don't have that much time. So now to talk a little bit about other products that we work with, we have, uh, for example, the spool. And who is going to talk to us about the spool or carretel is Mauricio. Mauricio, welcome. Are you prepared? Yes, prepared. As always, Red, first I'd like to thank you to be part of this event, uh, the FAIR Expo Genetics, and to talk about the partnership that uh, Bauer has, ABCZ, and Brazilian Cattle, and Afazu. And uh, we'd like to talk about uh, the wheel, the, ho the re hose reel, and to, to answer some questions about it. So first of all, explain to us what is this spool or carretel? What is this product that you work with? Yes, the hose reel irrigation is a machine that is very versatile and it can be used in uh, areas that might be hard to, to incline or steep and areas that have some failures uh, that are hard to go to. And you, you can use this equipment in areas that are smaller and uh, productions by small producers, right, in these areas. Uh, when should the farmer adopt this spool, this machine, as uh, as their tool? Well, for him to know to start using the equipment, he has to understand what he has available in the farm, and the same way that Flavio mentioned, we have to know what's available in terms of energy and water. And the hose reel is the same thing, and. Uh, the same way Flavio mentioned, for you to use any irrigation system, be it pivot, hose reel, and even the separator of a solid, and you need a technical project, so it shows you what you can do. A well done project, you can have a better performance of the equipment and better usage, and we have to go to ask the Bauer agents or any of our branches throughout the country. Uh, let us see, today in Brazil, we produce two models. Actually, we have several models. Bauer has several models of spools. But here in Brazil, we export to other countries in South America two models. What are these models and what are the differentials? The two models that we have here and we're manufacturing in Brazil are T32 and T21. And uh, the basic difference between these two equipment are the pieces of equipment is the area of irrigation. The 21 is a larger equipment and 32 is a smaller equipment, it's basically the size. Right. Now, uh, I know that uh, this Carretel or spool can be used for other functionalities, right? Yes, Instead of irrigation. Very important, what are they? Right? What is yes, especially for can be used in area of cattle breeding. And it's well used for the, the distribution of human uh, animal waste, actually. And uh, it needs a much more simple filtration system. That's why it's really good and it can be used for that. It can be applied in many different ways besides the animal waste and it can be used in other areas and also and in production of grains as well and the, there are many areas where it can be put into practice and sometimes 30 to hectares uh, and the smaller one can be used in areas of 15 hectares wow it's uh he's giving us a lecture here about how we can introduce irrigation in livestock raising to make it more productive. And for you to understand a little bit more, I, I brought here with me a video that I would like to watch with me. It's the testimony of our clients. And after the video, we are going to discuss Bauer's technology, which is a key in the area of uh, irrigation. The 
We chose the Bauer pivot because we had some experience and uh, we've been doing this with, for 38 years. And since we knew the characteristics of Bauer pivot, we decided for it. We chose a Bauer pivot due to its structure, right? Because there was a very robust a structure and uh, it, the operation. I didn't know the pivot, but we did believe in the brand and we installed both. And uh, the first two here in Santa Helena. And it's been working in the end its own operation for 17 years and it's been a good time right so we're really satisfied the robustness of the equipment it's really important we had a daughter equipment and there was a lot of problem with maintenance and when we went to the factory a Bauer factory we saw this situation of being maintenance of firm and robust equipment so that made us trust them better and the technological part as well we can uh, operated through a cell phone started and I thought it was a very robust pivot because it's been working really well it has a lot of technology built in and it's aggregating value to these crops our crops are our pivots are monitored even through cell phone we can connect them or disconnect them from home and we can monitor it through on, from our home and uh, we had the opportunity to install these pivots we got in touch with many factories factories that were of pivots but the one that made us trust in better was power we like their material it's very strong they have amazing excellent uh, uh, service and they they said, you know what, uh, my pivot has tradition from Europe and uh, throughout the world. And I saw, thought, you know what, that was a bit suspicious, but I heard them. And the first thing that I heard was the quality of the product. I was sh I checked whether it was a good quality product, and I felt a lot of certainty in their, in their personnel, both in their administration part, the people that handled the, fun the f funding. And when I went to see the factory in San Juan de Boa Vista, I saw the structure of power motors and a producer feels secure when buying this equipment. I believe that reselling is a very relevant uh, part and as a very positive part in the, of our branches and in the production chain, extremely important in the decision-making process. And I believe it's only it can only be done this way. As a producer, you, if you go to bar directly and uh, buy something, the role of the technical role and, of the, and the services of resales, it's very, it's crucial. So these two pivots was installed in a, during the pandemic, which was really hard. It managed to install it with uh, parts that were hard to get, and they were always fighting for us, and they have a post of sales maintenance and service that is very good. It doesn't matter the time, any time of the day, during day or night, and I had never seen that, you know, like to m install such huge pivots. Uh, during the pandemic, everything they promised, they did. And during the pandemic, and I thought, you know what, we were not sure about it. And they did it. And one day, two big trucks came here because we were not expecting, right? We didn't even have the place to put this material, but everyone from Bauer made, did their parts very well. I'm a very satisfied client. I want other pivots. I'm going to expand, and I'm definitely going to buy Bauer first because I feel very secure to work with this brand that is working with me in the irrigation system, you know. Guys, it is very gratifying to be able to watch these videos and see the farmers. People like us are there on the day-to-day, -day, very happy with our products and with irrigation. This is what we want to bring for new farmers, new producers, and the livestock uh, raising area. But nothing is possible if you don't have technology to help us. And who is going to talk to us about the technological side of Bauer? It's William. William, welcome. Hi, Natalia. Welcome to our live. Uh, and so tell us about IRI control and what's the automation of the pilot? Well, the most important is not just to have the irrigation system. 
uh, he country is part he country is part of the Bauer group and it uh, mention it we created the intelligent farm or smart farm for us to e make our the connectivity more easily in the field from the capture to the delivery and the pivot you know all right, and today we are exporting this eerie control technology not only to Brazil, but to several other countries that we have been able to bring this technology to, right? Exactly. Bauer pivots nowadays have that eerie control technology built in, and we are also going to the international market in South, Ma uh, South America, even in Uzbekistan. We have a control panel with a Bauer pivot to bring the technology to the field. Wow, you who are watching the show and think, oh, I need to turn on my pivot. I just use the cell phone and you can turn it all on and or off and it's, everything is good. And to show that this connection between irrigation and livestock raising, we will present another video of an expedition, Brasil Irrigado. Uh, it's a farmer who uses the irrigation for his crops. Check it out. We have a family that, uh, in our family history, we were cattle breeders. My great grandfather that came to uh, Goiás, and I lived in Brasilia, and I came here very often into the region, and I studied here in the rural area uh, through my childhood years and my teenage years, and I always identified with that, with the place. I graduated in manage, uh, business management in Brasilia, and then I worked with um, uh, Bev, and after that I went to Campinas, and at the end of 2003 I decided to come here. And I wanted to work with the management of the companies, and I also have my own business within the, the his farms. And uh, we have been developing little by little. And in 2008, we, because of the need to keep incrementing and aggregating value to the business, we decided to set up a pivot. In reality, it's a region that has a lot of uh, chicken farms, and uh, there was an option. It was uh, whether to set up a chicken farm or set up the pivot. So I decided to use the pivot back then. Not only I, I believe that I made the, the right decision, I'm sure now, and I got in touch with the sales rep of Bauer and we talked to them and into 2010 and we set up the first pivot and when we started our project to set up the first pivot I, in reality I didn't know anything about irrigation or uh, pivot technology that's why I asked a technician from Unai and he came here and he provided a consultancy in buying the pivot I didn't know Bauer back then and that we needed two pivots, I believe that we needed. Uh, Carbonell went there and he checked them out and he said, Ricardo, go ahead and buy them. It's in terms of structure, robustness, it meets all the requirements. And we bought the first pivot. And with the sale, sale of the second pivot, it was easier for us to have a business with power. And after that, we had the automation because the first was not the automated. Every time we had to go there and turn it on and and the pump factory, I mean pump a house. And now we, our proposal that we had was to go with automation, to start with automation. And nowadays I have the two pivots, I can turn them on just through remotely with my cell phone. And it's a, it's a very important two aspects. First, because there is an operational uh, demand that is of your team not to go every time there, any time that you handle and uh, you deal with the pivots. Another thing that I think is super important in this process is for you to deal with irrigation in times that are more profitable which are the times where the energy is uh, cheaper, you know? And uh, I do the programming and my wife sometimes, and I say, you know what? I need that pivot to rotate 90%, and I can use it within that a lot of time.
So that has been generating a lot of energy saving for us, and it's amazing how our energy bill is cheaper than la the one last year. So we have two pivots that are working, and last year were two, just was just one, and just working through uh, at the a lot of time where the energy is cheaper. specific farm we have 500 hectares of uh, crops but we also have 250 hectares of pasture there are 85 hectares that are irrigated the 55 that were first irrigated now the 30 that were included this year with the other pivot that belong that made by Bauer too in terms of confinement uh, we had around 1,000 animals, so we do have the soy crops and uh, and uh, grass also because when it's September, you can the cattle can enjoy it from the, of, from this area. And within the system of the farm, the irrigation it fits like a glove when the irrigation with cattle breeding. Usually in the summer we plant soy or corn with uh, levels of productivity that. Uh, of 25-50% uh, sometimes and many very often we plant uh, sweet corn with uh, grass and oh, after that the cattle can use that area uh, with rotation pasture. My consultant of uh, cattle breeding, he says that here at the farm is a flax pivot system, everything, cattle breeding, uh, crops and agriculture. So in a year, we had the whole summer crop and winter. It was just rotation, you know. It's one thing complementing the other in, within the system. The irrigation is part, the integral part of the system. So now we have a confinement in which we we put a lot of uh, ingredients, uh, rock powder and phosphate, and uh, it's the cattle is in confinement. And after that, we got that we'll get the manure, we'll th spread it around the area without any uh, without any fertilizers. And it's the whole system that it's fertilizing. And the same thing that I plant soy, and then I have the soy uh, parts that uh, will be used, and the corn that will use be used as uh, cattle feed, feed so all of the systems are part of the uh, each part is uh, connected now so now I leased another farm in Indianapolis uh, from my father and I'm planning 400 hectares and we're already thinking about uh, buying other two pivots right so in the long term we are intensifying and we're also increasing the business of irrigation the system really works it works economically and in agriculture terms and environmental and socially as well. So it's a sustainable system. I think better than we speaking here to you. It's better when our clients, they give their testimony of what they live on the day to day. If you want to see more videos like this one, you can follow us on YouTube. We have all the videos from the expedition Brasil Irrigado, in which we go around, talk to our customers, we learn about their story, and see what they do on the day to day. This speaks much more than we can do. You know, it speaks more than us when they show the day to day. We see that the, the pivot is flexible and how this has uh, been increasing so much and how technology 
has been helping. Yeah, the integration with crop is of the utmost importance and we are intensifying throughout the country and we're not present just in one region of the country, in the central west, which is very famous for it. No, there are regions in the northeast where we're doing the same thing in the south as well, so there are extreme differences in temperatures and the rain uh, season, so they, we are enabling this possibility. So I wanted to mention this technology because Maurer has their mission to bring a cause irrigation with quality but uh, with robustness but with technology and this is one of the advances can you talk about the advances that we have uh, the advantages that we have yes we're talking about the tele telemetry how we can connect the producer with the field uh, and it can be done through remotely through their mobile device or computer you can access everything that is going on in your crop and uh, action uh, by turning on the pivot and any failure that might happen in the field, you can get a real-time notification. So when it is so convenient to do this, to perform other activities and to know everything that is going on in your crop. So that brings even more security and the pivot is part of this uh, with real-time information. Another parameter that is really advantageous is the tariffs, the energy tariffs. And we know that the cost with energy is some, one of the highest costs in irrigation. So with the uh, EHICONTRO technology, you can automate your pivots for it to activate whenever whenever the energy is cheapest, and especially at night, you can, and you can manage that better this so and you can follow it with the platform of EHI control uh, and with the pivots of Bauer you can make decisions for what's best for your crops and areas that were irrigated or not the estimate of energy that costs that irrigation system and you can have a history and you can export this information and use it for future decision-making processes to make your decision more e efficient. That is, besides the producer not having to stay at the farm, he can irrigate it better and more efficiently, right? I think it's amazing, right? Exactly, Flavio. We have producers that are based in other cities, and their farms are uh, ran by other managers and they can follow everything that goes on and that is extremely pr important for the producer and the trust that it provides him. That's great, guys. I would like now to talk a little bit about this uh, partnership with ABCZ. It's very good to be here, very gratifying to have the ABCZ as a partner to help us to navigate the world of livestock production. So first, we like the possibility of being here and the partnership to present our technology and our products. Bauer has the goal to increase more and more the partnerships and the market and the possibility to be together with Brazilian cattle and BCZ and other colleges such as FAZU as well. We're we are in, t in the middle of talks to bring technology to the group and the young people within to present products to them and to present assets and pre develop this technology for Brazilians and for South American countries. This is really important. We're very happy and to be able to start in a first contact in expert genetics uh, in terms of irrigation in cattle breeding and the products of Bauer. Sure. We have a lot more to talk to you about, but you have to enjoy the whole event. So whoever wants to learn more about irrigation, especially for livestock raising, please get in touch on our social media. We are always available to talk to you, Brazilian, South American farmers. I would like to thank very much for this partnership at ABCZ and for this space to talk to you. Well, that's that. Please follow us on social media so that you can learn all the news and follow us. I thank you as well because you gave us a real lecture and shared what I love, which is technology. So it's very good to know that we have a new company within Brazilian cattle that is so capable and that is able to bring this technology that's so used in Brazil now, bring it to you anywhere in the world. So thank you very much. Uh, and I 
feel always free to come to Casa do Zebu because this is our house. If the goal is to improve livestock production with sustainability, we are always here for you. So I wish you all the greatest success. And you, our audience anywhere in the world, thank you very much to be here watching our lives. Stay tuned. We still have a lot more inter information and technology and genetics uh, to bring to you directly from Brazil to your home. After all, when it's to produce more, to produce better, we will always be here to share with you. We have a lot more to come. Stay tuned. See you later.